الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Welcome to this series of episodes about this important topic which is our schools are they really moving on in other words are our schools improving or they are in a case of a standstill the answer may be yes or no however we need to see what's happening around us to see what's happening in other schools in the whole world to see whether really we are moving or we are staying in our place this is the topic of today and i think it's so important to everyone it's so important to principals teachers parents even students themselves they need to participate in this there are lots of changes in the concepts in teaching we all the time see the progress and the advancement that's happening in cars technologies but we don't ask what are the developments that's happening or that are happening in school and in teaching and in curriculum these are the topics that we want to discuss in this series of episodes and my approach will not be giving a lecture rather i will take from you more than i you will take from me just by exchanging our ideas we will come up to a real idea about whether our schools are moving on whether they are improving or not one of the first things that we like to ask and i ask you to think of them if you are going to change something in your school to make it better what would it be and i request from each one of you or if you are sitting in pairs or in groups you come up with a list of things but this would be very quickly that what are you going to change in your school to make it a better school this would be the first step i'll hear from you what you're writing and then after that i'll ask you can we put them in priority and then we'll take each one and we'll try to examine it together now your task is very limited to one minute list five things that you want to change in your school whether you're working individually or in groups done not yet yes please carry on we want to continue writing yes please do if you are sitting in two so you come up with the one answer only what are the things that you think that you need to change in your school to make it a better school i'm quite sure that each one of us would have the belief that uh, my school is the best school in the world we would have this one because these are our babies we think that this is the thing that we built up and it's part of us so it's very difficult to see things that are not good so we see only the good things right yes management best management okay management okay best are you talking about classroom management are you talking about uh, school all management all of this school management best teaching staff best teaching staff okay you're talking about best, teachers best syllabus so you want to improve the management system you want to improve the teaching teaching staff okay can i get some answers from others please yes one or two points so the human relations with hr human relations okay human resources okay good what else best uh, resources i mean technically uh, best resources is best resources you're talking about libraries you're talking about ict right okay what else so we have now best management teaching staff human relations resources what else yeah more parents involvement okay parents more parents involvement good should be purpose oriented purpose oriented purpose oriented good and now we have okay can we add more principle centered principle value based or principle centered value based value based okay take value based what else does it go under management more disciplined okay i see lots of things are missing here. now you're talking about curriculum right there's something very valuable that we didn't see here what do you think what is it it should be a good campus good campus good building okay good good facilities we we'll tried this one what else i see nothing about students and when we reflect upon teaching or education 
core of any school is the student. It's not the teachers, it's not the principal, it's not the administration, it's not the leadership, it's not the resource. The core of any school, these schools were made because of the needs of the children. Quality of learning, how good the students learn at school. Also, did you notice that there is a shift nowadays, and this will be our main focus perhaps, is from the teachers to the students. In the past, when you used to go to schools and visit schools, our main focus was the teacher. What is the teacher doing? Now it's no longer the case. The new trend is that what the students do, what they understand, right? So it's from teacher-centered to students-centered. Now your second task is, among all these seven or ten items that we mentioned, each one of you, or each two of you, please try to put them in order. Which one should take the first priority? So it's the best management, teaching staff, human relationship, resources, and this, of course, includes uh, multimedia and uh, yeah, teaching methods, parents' involvement, purpose-oriented, value-based education, discipline, curriculum. Okay, can I get an answer? At least the first one. From your viewpoint, whether you dis I need you to discuss it if you're sitting in, in pairs. Yes. Can I get an answer? From your perspective, what is the first thing that you want to begin to improve in your school? The purpose should be very clear. The purpose should be very clear. Okay. Why it is purpose oriented from the very beginning, it's important. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created a human being for a purpose. I feel the purpose is the main criteria for which the school should be raised. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. Today's educational scenario is that our education is more focused on careers and grades. That education is not merely for grades and careers. It is beyond that because the teacher and the students, they stay together for hours. And for 10 years of schooling, you have more than seven to eight thousand hours together. I agree to part of it, of course. But everybody will say that we send our children to school to learn. Do you agree to this? So why should we have the purpose clear? Why should we have the vision and the mission clear? Why should we have this? Why do you think? You, you made a very good point when you said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that there is a purpose in this creation, which is worshiping him. So it's a very clear message for everybody to know why he is or she is on this planet. So this is very important. Now, in terms of our vision in this school, why should we put a vision to the school? Sisters, mission, I'm quite sure that you have lots of, please speak up. Why do you have a vision? Now, let's, to make it easier, let's try to put a vision for, or if you have a school, or if you work in a school, Tell me the vision of your school. Can I hear some visions of your school? Okay. When you write a vision and a mission, you are selling your product. You are telling the parents who are. You want to grab the parents to bring their children to you. So you are telling them that oh, my purpose from this school is such and such and such. Before you uh, continue commenting on him, we'll take a break for five minutes and we'll come back. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome. Yes, please. Yeah. Today's educational scenario is that our education is more focused on careers and grades. That education is not merely for grades and careers. It is beyond that because the teacher and the students, they stay together for hours. And for 10 years of schooling, you have more than seven to 8,000 hours together. I agree to part of it, of course. But everybody will say that we send our children to school to learn. Do you agree to this? So why should we have the purpose clear? Why should we have the vision and the mission clear? Why should we have this? Why do you think? You, you made a very good point when you said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that there is a purpose in this creation, which is worshiping him. So it's a very clear message for everybody to know why he is or she is on this planet. So this is very important. Now, in terms of our vision in this school, why should we put a vision to the school? 
sisters, mission. I'm quite sure that you have lots of, please speak up. Why do you have a vision? Now, let's, to make it easier, let's try to put a vision for it. Or if you have a school, or, or if you work in a school, tell me the vision of your school. Can I hear some visions of your school? Okay. When you write a vision and a mission, you are selling your product. You are telling the parents who are. You want to grab the parents to bring their children to you. So you are telling them that oh, my purpose from this school is such and such and such. And the other one would tell me the purpose of his or her school is such and such. And I have to decide which one I want my child to go to. So when we write the vision and mission, we are trying to, to buy our customers. We are going to attract the customers to come to our school. Do you understand my point? If you have just a school and you don't have a vision, I wouldn't come. I wouldn't bring my children to your school, definitely. I want a school with a vision that tells me that when your child graduates, he will be on this level. He will be able to do this. He will be able to do this. He will be able to do this. Our main purpose of the school is such and such. Tell me some of, yes, please. The purpose of our school is to prepare the children to face the challenges of this world as well as the hereafter. To face the challenges? this world and as well as the hereafter okay is this a true vision of your school you're not changing it no okay good yes please to excel in the academics to as well as in academics and as well as in islamic studies and islamic studies okay good third one if it is different if it is different if it's the same but just rewording it uh, don't mention it to build a team of uh, professionals who would do a uh, good in the society to build bit of uh, a team of professionals good in the society to build a team of professionals right who would do good in the society to be good in the society i need some opinion from the people who didn't participate which school would you select for your children according to the visions that you see which one would you select okay well, let's begin with the one that talks uh, very broadly about spreading peace in the world by learning Islam, right? Good. Let's discuss this one, this vision. If you see this vision, how, how do you want to react against it? Would you take your children to that school? What is your opinion when you see this vision? By the way, remember, remember, the vision, when we say them, it is a promise to the parents. We are promising the parents that when their children graduate, they will be able to make this. Okay, so at the end, the parents would come to you, hey, the children studied 12 years in your school, they came out, and they are not fulfilling the vision. You have to remember, when you write a vision, that's why we need to sometimes to reword our vision from time to time. A vision is not something stable all the time, but you, sometimes you may need to change the wording on them. Okay, now, if the school is saying this vision, would you take your children to it? Yes. Try to look for something better. What is better than this? What is better than the, peace? The first one. Okay, now, much. let me focus on this. What, what is your opinion when you face a statement like this? We want to spread peace in the world based on learning the religion of Islam. What is your reaction as a father? who would come to you as the father who lives in India, lives in Mumbai, and you would see this. What do you want to say? What is your reaction? Okay. This is only part of the vision. Okay. What do you want to add more? What do you want your children to learn more? Prepare them for the dunya and the akhira. Okay. Prepare them for dunya and akhira. Are you saying that this vision, I hope nobody is sensitive. Okay. We are. So are you saying that this vision is so wide or so vague or so general? Or what, what is your reaction? Can you, can you say a word on that? And we'll give you an opportunity to defend, by the way. The peace is only part of it. Peace yeah. is part of it. OK. Yeah. What yeah. else do you yeah. want? We are looking at much more than that. What, what is this much more than this? Yeah. To be the right human being. OK. And uh, the earlier topic, what we discussed about the purpose of being in this world, to she mentioned worship. something about it yeah, because by learning Islam, okay. So you want to specify something that to be good worshippers of Allah. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. Sister, do you have any reaction? Well, sure. Uh, in fact, when I say that uh, it's spreading the word of Allah, Allah himself has mentioned in the Holy Quran that how a human has to be and go ahead in his life. For example, a peace is a factor. Peace is just one thing. But when I say word of Allah, I mean a lot of things which are included in this. So being a true human, being a positive person in the society, everything is included, everything is mentioned in the Holy Quran. Okay, so do you, do you understand that it may be so general that it needs to be more specific a little bit? Sure. Okay, because the essence of it, although it talks about peace, which is a worldly matter, of course, and it talks about learning the religion, but it doesn't talk about anything about academics, as, as it had been mentioned, okay? Let's move to another one. What was another one? Anybody read the other one for me? To face challenges of this life and hereafter. Can I get a reaction on this, okay? To face the challenges of this life and the hereafter. When we say the challenges of this life, means you know, we have to survive in this world, professional degree or some business. So we need to have uh, that quality in us so that we can survive in this, this world. And for the hereafter, you must follow Islam in totality so that you know we can achieve that ultimate goal, inshallah. So it talks about this life and the hereafter. So it has the mix of it, right? So what, what would be your comment? If you have a comment on this, I'm not going to take my child to this school. Who is not going to take his child to this school? All of him. Yes, please speak up. Assalamualaikum. We want to get better understanding. Okay. Alaikum as As a parent, I would love to admit my child in such a school which caters to the success of this world as well as hereafter. Okay. That's very good. If you are going to change anything in it, what would you change? Open question for it. If you, you are given an opportunity to change this vision, would you change anything or you don't want to change it? You accept it as is? You make modification? By the way, this is the critical eye that we need. We don't want to accept things as fact. They are not saying of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are saying of human beings, right? We need to develop this attitude of critical thinking. And this is what we are going to focus on when we talk about teaching. This is such a thing is not happening in our school. Critical thinking. Can we, can we modify this? Can we make it better? This itself is a broad vision, a broad... Okay, so and, it uh, is broad. Which can be broken down into other points. Okay. Which will include like excelling in academics. Even but still excelling, in, excelling in academics can be a, in a mission. Another, in the mission, we can divide the vision. So the vision usually is, is a broad statement. But if you want to change this broad statement, who wants to change this broad statement? Okay. Ya Sheikh, salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. In fact, I would like to go a step further on this. Instead of uh, like to face challenges of this life and hereafter, it's kind of like a question of survival. Instead of that, what I would like to make the changes instead of the word challenges, it would be like to create role models for this world as well as the hereafter. Okay, we are, we are shifting from the topic. Okay, now, does the Quran say something about this? We have two minutes left, so. Does the Quran say anything about this? Okay, now this is testful. You understand the Quran very well. What does the Quran say about this? The Quran says that in the one was, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana. Okay, so. so with this, we can cater that. Oh, so fi dunya hasana. Because we are living here, okay? So it matches this. Yeah, that is what I'm saying. Good. So how about if somebody tells you that the Quran would say that the reverse the focus. In other words, the Quran reversed this, right? The Quran said that gear and direct everything that you have in this life towards akhirah, towards later life. And then don't forget your portion in this life. So in other words, the main focus is on later life. It's not on this dunya. Can you take this statement and make it a vision or no? You would take a vision like this one, Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasana, 
You know that if you take this, because Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana means the, the good wife. The dunya hasana. So this is not the purpose of education, right? Do you agree to that? Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab anna. So it's, if we get the explanation of atina fi dunya hasana, it's, I think it's a little bit very limited, right? So what do you think? Which verse would you take as a vision for your school? وَابْتَغِ فِي مَا أَتَاكَ اللَّهُ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةِ وَلَا تَنْسَ نَصِيبَكَ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا Or, رَبَّنَا أَتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَا وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّعْ As a vision for the school, what do you think which is more practical? Yes, sister, please, you wanted to say. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. The verse which was coming in my mind was, رَبِّ زِدْنِي عِلْمَ وَقُلْ رَبِّ زِدْنِي عِلْمَ Because we need to know the knowledge. We are aware that today's world is of science and technology. So inshallah, we, look, uh, we give a word to our, the parents that mashallah, we will give those, provide those knowledge with the Akhir. I think it's, it's a wonderful statement and we'll come back to discuss it. Is this enough to make it as our vision for a school or it needs something more? It's not, not every ayah is made in the Quran as it represents the focus on, on the vision. We have to understand this. We can come back in another episode. Thank you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.